Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install H1 Mod for your PC. H1 Mod is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered uh, mod that's available for PC. Uh, we're going to need a few things here uh, in order to get started. I'm going to go ahead and make this as brief as possible. Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and want to uh, make sure you have all the proper files downloaded. So if you're going to be torrenting the game, make sure you go to the H1 website and you download the Qubit Torrent Windows client and also make sure you download the H1 DLC Torrent as well as the full game file. Uh, all available on the H1 uh, website. So once you have those first things downloaded, go ahead and install Qubit Torrent. Once you have Qubit Torrent already uh, installed, see here I already have the files already up here, but I'll go ahead and open it. So Qubit Torrent's already opened up for me. I already have it installed. Once you have it installed, this is what it's going to go ahead and look like. So go ahead and open it up, and then uh, go ahead and click on File. And you're going to want to add a torrent file. So just remember where you saved those uh, files that you downloaded from the website. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the full files and the uh, DLCs. We're going to do both of them. So uh, once you select that, just make sure you select the path where you want to go ahead and download the files to. Uh, so just remember that this will be your main game, uh, your your game's main root directory. So this is where you're going to go ahead and add the rest of the files later. So make sure you, you remember this path. Um, okay. And for this case, we're going to go ahead and just create a new folder over here. And we're going to call it COD Modern Warfare Remastered. And we're going to select that folder because Track. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for uh, And once you do that, everything's going to go ahead and start downloading. So we'll go ahead and wait for um, this to finish. I already have this installed, so um, I'm not going to go ahead and sit there at all. Okay. So now that your download is complete, when you go back to that folder that you sent all the download files to, in this case the COD Modern Warfare Remastered folder we created, you're going to have this folder here. Now this is where all the main game files are going to go ahead and sit, and uh, there's one thing we need to do. Uh, there's actually a few things. You need to go ahead and go back to the website. Uh, so download the source code file here. I already have it downloaded, but this is what it looks like here. So open up that folder. We're gonna have the H1 mod 1.0.5 folder. Now you're gonna get all these files here. Now go back to your root game directory install, whatever you want to call it, main game install file. Go here. Open up this folder. Oh. Uh, Drag it down a little bit so you don't drop them in one of those folders. Now, go ahead and drag all these files over. Now, give it a second to extract the files. You're going to get a message that says to replace all the files in the destination. Yes, replace all the files in the destination. Okay. So, good. You did that. Uh, now, there's two more things we need to do. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to... Uh, going to go ahead and want to do is um, go to the Discord. Now, I don't know if there's another place where you can actually download this right now. I just know that it's the Discord. Uh, so, if you are on the H1 mod Discord, if you go down to the support section, the general support section, uh, there's pinned posts here, and you'll see one from an admin. It should be the very first one, but go ahead and click on this UI scripts.rar um, file here. Go ahead and download this. I already have them, but I'll just go ahead and download them again. And we're going to do the same thing. Except this time, uh, open up the file. Okay. And go back to your game. Install. Look for the data folder, which is this one. And go into the UI scripts and 
go back to the file you just downloaded and extract all the folders over and replace the destination. Okay. Now with these two files that we just uh, copied over, this is going to um, give you a few options in the game. Like it's going to show you the stat section and it's also going to uh, allow you to, to have access to the server browser, which is what a lot of people are having an issue with right now. Uh, is not being able to see the server browser or see the stats menu where you can unlock everything. So this is what you need to do. These are the files that you need to copy into your game in order to get all that working properly. But once um, you uh, do all that, you still need to do one last thing, which is basically uh, go to your, your um, game install and you go back to GitHub, you should have downloaded the um, client, um, which is the first one here. It's only nine megabytes. And go ahead and drag that file into your games directory once again. Uh, I already have it in here, but what you'll want to do is um, when it'll show up in your downloads. Just drag it into your games install folder, and this is what it's going to go ahead and look like. So make sure you right click and create a shortcut for it. And you can rename the shortcut, whatever you'd like. Just make sure you drag it onto your desktop. Um, if you have any issues, just make sure you go to the website and you check the troubleshooting and the errors page. Uh, some of the errors are listed here. Um, some people don't get them and, and some people do. So make sure you refer to the website for specific errors. Make sure you also check out the Discord chat. Uh, you'll find a lot of the um, issues posted on here and a lot of people respond on here you can also use the search and the pinned uh, post all right now that we got everything installed let's go ahead and jump into the game so after that it should look like this we're going to select multiplayer game should load up okay so if you're opening up the game for the first time for specific people that have RTX cards so any of the 2000 series cards plus that have ray tracing uh, you're gonna have an issue, so make sure you um, go ahead and just go ahead and decline uh, downloading the um, cache, the shader. So make sure you hit no if you have a 2000 series RTX graphics card. After that, you can jump online. Uh, you can exit the stats menu. You can edit your stats here, like I do here. I have my stuff edited here. Uh, you can exit the server list. There's some people actually playing here right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the game. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, subscribe for more.